Hello guys and welcome back to my last video before Christmas day. It's so exciting. Christmas is nearly here. We're going home really, really soon back to Wigan. To see all of the family. I am really, really excited about it. We've already got all the presents wrapped. We've got everything in the suitcases ready to go. So yeah, it doesn't need to get the train home and we're there and the food is ready and all the drinks. It's gonna be amazing. And this also means that it's the end of my seven days of Christmas giveaways as well. So honestly, the biggest thank you to everyone who supports Supported, who tweeted, who entered, who Instagrammed, who kind of did everything around the giveaway. Honestly, like I was mind blown by how many of you entered and supported the whole giveaway. So thank you so, so much. I really hope you kind of enjoyed them as well. And congrats again to all of the winners. There's still one winner to go for the very last giveaway, which I'll obviously draw at the very, very end of the video. So stick around for that. And by the way, there will be one video going up on Christmas day. It's just a bit of a kind of Christmassy festive video just to sort of say Merry Christmas. So yeah, so make sure you are subscribed and stick around for that on Sunday. But this video is actually more about luxury products as a lot of us seem to love. I know that I do. And I've got a few new things recently that I haven't really shown you. They've either been on the blog or they've been on Instagram. And I thought I'd do a bit of a roundup of everything that's kind of new for the past few months that I've not really shown you. Just in case you get a bit of money over Christmas or you want to treat yourself to something before Christmas. Or maybe some things will go into Boxing Day sales. You never know. So hopefully this will be a little bit helpful. I'm going to get through them quick because I've been chatting too much. I'm gonna kick this off actually with sunglasses. First pair, how amazing are these? I think these are the Fendi Iridia sunglasses and I always wanted this pair and I saw them everywhere on loads of Instagram people and just loved them and just totally fell in love. I mean, how cool is this shape? And they're really cat eye effects, and these are blue and tortoise and autumn. They're so, so great. I'll leave a link down below for exactly where I got these because they can be a bit rare on a few different websites. It took me a while to find a website that did them, so I'll leave them linked down below. Another pair of sunnies as well. These were from Sunglasses Shop. And they're another pair of Dior. I'm pretty sure these are the So Reals. They look a little bit different as you have this banding across here. This kind of like copper band. And then this is in like a matte Havana tortoise shell. Honestly, I saw these. If you saw my come shopping with me, you'll have seen me wearing a pair of these in the Dior boutique. And I fell in love with them. And these were kind of the closest I could find online and just fell in love pretty much. So yeah, they've been all over the blog recently. I'm in love with them. Let's move into, I kind of want to keep bags to the end because I'm a little bit obsessed with the bags at the moment. I'm going to show you this dress. If you haven't seen this already, literally I feel like this is the only dress I have worn for the past few weeks and it's this little self-portrait number. Have I shown you this yet? I don't think I have. It's a kind of brand brand new season self-portrait. I got this from Louisa Via Roma and it's so gorgeous. It's just a navy blue with black lace detailing. The lace this time on the majority of the body is in a navy navy blue star print. So they kind of mixed up the very florally lace into this more star print and it's so beautiful. You've got a zip right at the back to get you in and some black lace kind of cut out around the midriff but don't show off too much. And then this lace ruffling that it's tiered all the way down into the skirt. Now I'll be honest with you, this is somewhat short. I'm five foot seven. I always wear this with heels and it is kind of short. I mean walking around perfectly fine. Sitting down you've really got to kind of pull this over your bum to make sure that you're not just sat on your bare skin. <laughs> I'll be honest, but it doesn't bother me too much as long as I just pull it down, cross my legs in a leader like fashion, I'm all good. And to be honest, I love it so much that I don't care that much. So that's what I've been loving in apparel. In fact, there's a few more. Now, I'm not usually a sweater kind of gal. I mean, jumpers like this, maybe, but not so much sweaters. But I got this one from Coach, and it's so cute. I mean, totally, like, I don't think you'd ever pick this out for me. Because <laughs> I don't think I would ever usually pick this out. But I saw it and loved it, and it's got this satin, silky banding around both of the arms. And this really sweet, like, raccoon. And then this embellished sequin and pearl eye effect. It's just so cute. It's just one of those really easy sweaters to throw on when you want that kind of off-duty casual model look that I always try and go for and don't quite achieve but you know one day hopefully I'll achieve that look with this jumper. Oh my gosh I'm so in love with these. I'm so in love with these. In fact, a blog post has just gone live today, an hour ago, in fact, an hour ago, on inthefro.com. And it includes these shoes. So if you want to see more pictures of me wearing these shoes, oh, and the dress, and the dress. So the dress with the shoes, then you can see some more pictures. But these are the Jean Vito Rossi Calabria Courts in the new blush pinks. These are like the brand new season Jean Vito Rossi colour. Honestly, I mean, you guys probably know, if unless you're new here, in which case you'll soon find out. But I'm a bit of a Jean Vito Rossi collector. I love Jean Vito Rossi. This is probably like my eighth pair. They are just the most comfortable heels. They go with so much, especially when you kind of get the Calabrias because they've got plastic size to them that everyone's always like, are they comfortable? And they really 
are comfortable. I don't see why this wouldn't be comfortable. It just sits around the side of your feet. It doesn't dig in. It just, yeah, I don't know. They're just so they're great. And in this colour, they're really pretty. They're very neutral. They're not too bright pink, so you can wear them with everything, pretty much. Big, big fan. Love these a lot. Another pair of boots. Again, I'm kind of going for the alternatives here, but... Would you pick these out for me? Probably not, but I'm gonna wear these home tomorrow back to Wigan. Seeing as the north is so much colder than the south, I don't care what anyone says, it's honestly like a few degrees colder up north. Every time I go back from London to Wigan, I'm like, what does happen to the weather? I mean, obviously it's a long way away, but still. So I'm gonna take these, just in case it gets super cold. These are so comfortable. These are a pair of Sorel boots. I had a pair last year actually that I took to Iceland. Really thick, really wintry, and they were perfect for Iceland. But these are a little bit thinner, which is good for kind of UK weather. But they're just really cool. And it's with a pair of jeans tucked in. Again, they're just, just a nice, easy boot. And I put these on Instagram, and a lot of you asked me where I got them from. So I figured I'd mention them because they're pretty cool actually. And I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of these, I think. Okay, and finally, let's talk through some new bags. First up, how adorable is this coach bag. So this is from Coach. Again, it's kind of like new season. It's part of their 1941 collection, which is kind of like their super luxurious designer collection. And this is just adorable. It's super kind of vintage, old school styling. It's got the rivets all over it. So it's got a very westernized feel that Coach has sort of gone for this season anyway. It's just very sweet. I think if I showed my Nana this, she'd be like, oh, that's so cute. I used to wear stuff like that when I was younger. But obviously it's got this really modernized twist, which Coach often goes for. They kind of take these very vintage G1950, 60s bags and turn them into something super modern and amazing and this I absolutely love I mean it's a beautiful cream shade you could just sort of wear it like this hold it like that or you know you could just carry it like this if you want you can carry it however you like but it's so cute I love it it's also so affordable it's about £495 I say affordable because obviously it's not in the thousand pound ranges it's a little bit a little bit less a little bit more affordable when it comes to luxury bags another absolute cutie pie I don't think I've shown you this yet guys but how cute is this little Fendi bag it has eyelashes it has actual eyelashes how cute is this can you see they stick out and it's got this very kind of like I always think it looks a bit like a little owl but they have the face Faces. and it also comes with a long silver chain so this is one of those perfect kind of wallet on chain size bags it's similar size to my Chanel wallet on chain but it's gorgeous really bright silver chain and it's just stunning it's one of those really cute little pieces you can wear every single day just for a more statement bag another tiny little bag this is a new bulgari bag you may know I have the gorgeous sapphire metallic this one is the silver well it's quilted it's like a quilted silver leather it's just stunning I mean the bulgari bags I've always said this but they're almost like an extension of your jewelry it's not like you're carrying an accessory it's like you're carrying a jewelry piece that's how I always feel with this because it's just absolutely exquisite detailing I always feel so lovely wearing these and they're just absolutely gorgeous so I have this one to add to my collection and I'm just feel very lucky I love it and that is it guys so many gorgeous new pieces I'm just a little bit obsessed with these shoes and cannot wait to wear this bag for Christmas so I just love absolutely everything at the moment and I just wanted to show you guys like I said just in case you have a little bit of extra spending money from Christmas and maybe you want to treat yourself and you never know some of these things may be in sale so I will leave links down below for you just in case and in case you liked anything plus I really wanted to talk about some luxury products again because I feel like I haven't in a little while and I know you guys love to sort of see my new bags and new pieces and I really like talking about them as well so yeah I hope you enjoy it guys I also hope you have an amazing Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and like I said I'll be back on Christmas Day so if you do have an extra few minutes where you just want to go and chill away from all the kind of food and the festivities for a bit there will be a video up on Christmas Day for you as a little treat so yeah thank you so much for this whole year being here and being amazing and have the best christmas and i will see you soon bye okay so it's time to draw the winner of giveaway seven of my seven days of christmas giveaways and like i said it's been amazing so thank you so much to all of you the winner of the ysl gift box with all of like my favorite ysl goodies in there there were so many the keels creme decor creams and the facial cream and also the kenzo bag and perfume is a lady named Gemma Higgins. So huge congrats to Gemma for being my seventh winner. And again, thank you so much to all of you who took part and made this so amazing. So thank you so much. Gemma, I will be emailing you for your address so I can send you your goodies, hopefully before Christmas. Yeah, thank you so much to all of you. Have an amazing Christmas. Love you all and bye-bye.